I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today I want to talk about something that can impact your life greatly. Sometimes something that can impact your life in a very very positive way. This is something that we get people all across the world to practice all the time and if you can perfect this. You see today too many of us are just taking course after course. We're trying to get better and better and take more courses and do more degrees. I don't have a problem with that. But if we cannot perfect ourselves with the basics in life, the universal laws that drive everything for us in life, every single thing. Like you can have the best degrees, you can have all the education in the world and everything. But if you're not aligned with the universal laws, what are some examples of these universal laws? Like we have the law of gravity. We know no matter what you throw up will come down. As much as you throw an apple up and you say I don't want it to come down. I don't want it to come down. You resist it. It will still come down. The law, the law of electricity. Electricity will travel its path no matter what you do. That is a law. There's the law of energy, there's the law of inertia, the law of motion, all of these things, the law of cause and effect. No matter what you do, who you are, what color you may be, how much of money you have in your bank account, whether you're famous, whether you're not famous, the laws never change. These are fundamentals. And we go an entire life trying to get better and look for more and more complication and all of these things. That's fine. But if you cannot understand the laws, the universal laws, nothing really works for you. But when you understand these universal laws, and like I said, these are not airy-fairy laws. They're real. They're real. We know that. When you learn to practice them, you start living a life without so much of effort. Hard work's different. But you struggling all the time we feel life is a struggle we have the degrees we have the money in the bank we have everything but we're struggling struggling you know it's not effortless and then you look at some people and they just attract everything naturally without much effort they're doing just what is enough and they attract everything abundance love relationships great health and everything else I want to talk about this law today okay it is called the universal law of compensation Okay, today most of us live a life like, you know, what will I get? When will I get it? How fast can I get it? How much will I get? I want this. It's unfair. Why should I be treated this way? Okay, I give so much, I don't get it in return. I'm not good enough. Everyone hates me. Everyone's against me. People talk behind my back. This is our constant world that we're living in today. I put in so much. I want this right now. I am so and so. I demand to get this result right now. I did X, Y, Z, but I'm still sick. Okay, these are common things that we go, ev go through every single day. But when today, when you understand how the law of compensation works, it is going to change every aspect of your life. You can have everything in the world, but your life can be a struggle. You can have little in the world, but your life is effortless. Completely effortless because you follow the law of compensation. So what exactly is the law of compensation? The law of compensation states very, very clearly, you will be compensated. Okay, you will be compensated for all, all of your actions, all of your efforts, all that you give. It's as simple as that. You will be compensated for all of your actions, what you give, your efforts, what you put into the situation and all of that. That is the law of compensation. What you do affects what you get. Remember this. Okay, now we may have expectations, we may wish things were different, but their law you come back to that law. Remember, you're throwing up that apple and you don't want it to fall, but it is going to fall. So you may have expectations right now. You may have ego and pride of how you want things to be. But the simple truth and the simple law is you get what you give. You reap what you sow. It's as simple as that. Your reality becomes what you're constantly thinking of. What you mean and say from your heart is exactly what you're going to get back in life in some way or the other. So basically, you get in return what you give. This is the simple law of compensation. Now, for example, you spread happiness. You genuinely spread happiness. What you get in return is happiness. You spread sadness and you spread hatred. What you get in return is sadness and hatred. So even, you know, the situations where you are mindlessly spreading hate by talking about your best friends or talking about people that you hate and backbiting and bitching and all of that stuff. You may say the human mind consoles you by saying, oh, it's all in fun. Come on, it's a joke. It's the law of compensation. You give that, it's going to come back to you in some way or the other. Okay, you, know, you, you spend, you give more money, you give more wealth, you share your wealth, you get it back. There are some people, they have so much and yet they don't share, they feel insecure and they don't get back what they, what they give. So the simple law of compensation, again, you spread more resentment. 
If you spread resentment in your own relationships, in your own marriage, what do you think you're going to get back? Love and joy? No, you're going to get resentment back. It's as simple as that. So basically, if you are getting compensated for something, it is exactly what you are giving through your effort, through your time, through your feelings, your emotions, your mindsets and belief. If your belief is a negative belief, a rigid belief, what do you get back in return? What do you get back? Everything that is rigid, everything that is limiting, everything that is completely negative. Let's take your health. A lot of people say, oh, I shouldn't have fallen sick, all of that stuff. If you're constantly abusing your body, if you are abusing your mind, if you are abusing your emotions, what do you expect? You may expect because you have a lot of money, because you have designation, because you're whoever you think you are. You may expect that you deserve the best in health. Simple example. Some people train, they run marathons, they lift weights, all of that stuff. But in the weekends, they binge drink themselves. They binge smoke. They do all of this stuff. What do you expect? You're going to get what you give. It's as simple as that. There's no rocket science about that. And then you have the whole world looking and trying to understand the origin of disease and the origin of obesity and the origin of depression. You've got to take a step back and focus on, reflect on what aspects in my life do I need to change? What am I giving that I get all of this back? This is such an interesting topic. I've made so many points that I want to talk about today. So again, uh, the next point, yeah. So if you're constantly abusing yourself, you find yourself in depression today. People will tell you it's a chemical imbalance. Yes, you need medication. Yes, I'm not coming in between that. But what have you given? What have you given to reach this point? What have you given to reach this point? You know the amount of people in relationships where a partner's constantly resenting their other partner, like how did I deserve this partner? You know, I don't deserve this toxic relationship. I don't, whatever. You know, sometimes you gotta sit back. If you've also been giving resentment, okay, to your partner, if you are getting resentment, you have also given it at some point in your actions or in your behavior or in your words or whatever it is that you have done. So if you resent your marriage, if you resent your relationship, if you resent your partner, it is also happening because somewhere you have done that. Now, a lot of people may feel that I don't deserve this. I've not done this to deserve this, all of that stuff. Like I said, you can wish, you can intend all of that stuff. That's fine. But the universal law, doesn't change. You may wish you have a better marriage. You may wish you have a better partner. But right now, if there's resentment, if there's toxicity, if there's anger, if there's lack of love, if there's diminishing love, you got to step back and see what you have done too. This is not a blame game. Absolutely not a blame game. You know, some people have physical abuse in a relationship. He slapped you, she slapped him, all of that stuff. Again, that's fine. The action is wrong. We're not taking up for that action. But now go back, go back and apply the law of compensation to what is happening in your life right now. Everyone complains, oh, my boss, my boss is like this, my boss is giving me a hard time. Well, I bet you've given someone a hard time in your life at some point as well. That's the law of compensation. Some people say it's a bias, my boss is biased, I don't grow. Somewhere in your actions is when you've been biased. Maybe not in your company, but with someone else in your life. This is the law of compensation. Are you feeling miserable all the time and like everyone's attacking you? I bet that you, have made someone else feel miserable or you have attacked them unconsciously or consciously at some point in your life. So you keep thinking negatively of money and abundance. I can bet you don't have money and abundance in your life. It's a constant struggle, constant struggle. That struggle becomes negativity and hatred and then everyone blames the government and the country and everything else. Law of compensation. Yes, there may be problems in the country, there may be problems in the government, there may be problems at your work, but law of compensation. You need to sit now. Let's understand how you use this law of compensation to learn from it and really, really change your life. How do I know it can change your life? I live according to the principle of the law of compensation and loads of our clients now learn to do that because medicine has its limitation. So does nutrition, so does exercise, so does meditation, and so does sleep. All of these have their limitations. They can't change. Just because you meditate more or you eat more, you pop more pills, won't change the universal law of compensation. It's a law. Irrespective of whether you're healthy or you're unhealthy, you do the right things and the law doesn't change. The law doesn't change. Your money cannot buy the law to change. As simple as that. So when we put all of that aside, how do we use the law of compensation? Number one, watch your thoughts and words. Watch what you are thinking and what you are speaking all the time. If you are constantly thinking negativity and speaking negativity, that is what you are getting back in your life. If you are constantly thinking and you are constantly speaking ill health, I can bet you're sick right now. If you're constantly talking about depression and you're constantly negatively talking about it, I can bet right now you have all the symptoms of depression as well. 
okay? So we have to watch our thoughts and we have to watch our words. We have to watch our beliefs and our mindsets. So every thought and the word, we keep talking about it, it becomes a belief and mindset. So, so many people have limiting and very negative beliefs and mindsets that even the best medicine and the best nutrition and the best lifestyle can never surpass. So you can have the best medicine and the best nutrition and the lifestyle, but if your attitude and your beliefs and your mindsets are wrong, it will not work. It will not work at all. We all know the medical science behind a placebo. It can take away severe pain when it's given to you the right way and a sugar pill can make your headache disappear in a second. That's your belief. That's your mindset. Okay, the next question that you need to ask yourself, reflect on this. What are you currently being compensated for in your life? Okay, in terms of money, love, relationships, work, all of that. What are you currently being compensated for? Look at all the aspects of your life. What are you getting? What are you getting? And then, what are you giving? So if you're getting a lot of love, that means you are giving a lot of love. If you are getting a lot of appreciation and you're feeling good, that means you've been giving it. If you've been getting those promotions and whatever it is, that means you have been giving and putting in that effort and all of that stuff. You know, a lot of people who don't get uh, promotions in offices, they're all bitter because they've gone up the wrong way, sucking up to their bosses, ass licking and all of that stuff. Well, the law of compensation doesn't allow for that. Maybe you grow one level two and then you crash right down. Now, you may say, Luke, there are so many people getting rich the wrong way. Yes, absolutely, but eventually they all crash or eventually these are the people who can't even enjoy their money or sleep in peace or they're sick. Law of compensation, you give what you get. So like I was saying, look at what, whatever you're getting in life, look behind it. How much of effort have you put in? What were your thoughts? What were your ideas? What were your beliefs? What were your mindsets? What were you putting in at that time? Your relationship is unhealthy, happy, no matter what. Cut away from all the stuff that's happening. How much have you been giving? How much have you done? How much have you been putting? And immediately the human is, I've given everything. I've sacrificed my time. I've sacrificed. And you should be getting what you deserve. It's as simple as that. A lot of us get what we don't deserve. But you still got to go back and look at the law of compensation. We got to separate the actions of what is happening with the reality of the situation. How much of effort have you put in? So it simply comes down to giving. Okay, the best way to use the law of compensation is when you give, give without expectation. See, it's so normal for us to have a little bit of expectation. We don't want to be these, you know, uh, non-practical people where I'm just going to give all the love and expect things to be happen. I'm going to give all my effort at work and just be okay with everything that happens. No, I'm not talking about that. But when you give, give with the right vibration. If you're giving love, give it with the right vibration. Don't give it to get something in return. Today, everyone is doing something to get something in return. People are just trying to act nice to everyone, to manipulate emotions, to get something, to appear to be good. This doesn't work. When you give, when you put in effort, when you work, when you do it with the right vibration, <clears throat> you allow the law to work better for you. So you know, there are so many people stuck in relationships, business. Oh, I'll only do this when he changes. I will only behave this way when she changes. I will only do this when I'm promoted. Well, you are just limiting your life. That's not the law of compensation. So you give little, you get little. You give a lot, you get a lot. As simple as that. Like I said, you can wish and you can intend for things to be better. But expectations have nothing to do with the law of compensation. It is truly what you put in, the amount of effort with the right amount of vibration. So I always say for the law of compensation, give a little more. So if someone asks for something, go out that extra mile and give them a little more because you truly want to. And then just sit back and watch what you get in return. It is magical. Nothing short of magical. It's not really magical. It's a universal law. It's called the law of compensation. What you give is what you get with the right vibration. There are some people who try to please people and give them more and more, expecting more love back or more whatever or more favors to be answered. And when they don't get it, they're miserable. Of course, you're not going to get it. You're not going to be compensated for that because you did it with the wrong intention and the wrong vibration. So teach yourselves and teach even your children when they give. Can I give a little bit more? Just a little bit more and then just watch back and see what comes your way. So today, whatever it is, whatever it is, wherever you are stuck in life, I even tell my patients who are the sickest, go back, go back and you will find some abuse done to your body or your mind or your mindset or belief, always resisting a disease, always never wanting and saying, I never want to get cancer. I never want to get diabetes. I never law of compensation. It is so important for us and that's why I say live a mindful life. Our life is so chaotic today. We've thrown ourselves into social media, electronics, all of that stuff. But what's growing on the side? 
mental diseases, depression, sickness, more cancer, more disease, something's not working right. We think everything is going right for us, but what we need to come back is, we as people, what effort are we putting? How can there be so many people who have the same education, the same structure, and only some of them are successful? And you go back, we'll find excuses. Oh, he inherited his dad's money. Oh, he had an edge. Excuses. Don't waste your time with people who vibrated that average. Look, try to find out what did they do differently. There could just be one thing that they did differently. They really put in genuine effort to become who they are today. Okay, the people who have healed from the deadliest diseases, no magic. They've really put in effort. They've made changes so that their own intelligence and their body have begun, have begun to heal them. So don't, that's why I say complain, blame, wasted energies. Makes you feel good for a while. And when people agree with you, you feel all of a sudden special. You're just empty. So when people agree with you, you feel special. We don't need to feel special from people agreeing with us. We have to feel special from real emotions like joy, love, acceptance, forgiveness, abundance, everything that we create for us, not other people. So practice the law of compensation. Anything that's not going well for you in your life today, sit down. What is life compensating you? Now put down. What are the true efforts and everything else that you've done? So, you know, some people say, okay, I'll get into this marriage. I'll make it work. I'll do all of that stuff. But with distaste, with resentment, with negativity, like they're doing a favor, the law of compensation is not going to work for you. Change your vibration. Use the right vibration to give. And what you get back will be magical. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.